Many of us, the best of us, mark the new year by resolving to do good things in the 12 months to come. And if we feel we need a roadmap to show us the way, Barry Peterson knows just the person to turn to. Daphna Michelson is traveling America, putting together a most unusual collection, not of objects, but of ordinary people who do extraordinary things. At the core, I knew we were made up of really good people. Which, how are you been? People like the Arizona crime-fighting housewife. Let's throw some heat. Let's see it, Andrew. The Oklahoma man who helps troubled boys. The doctor who makes pottery to fund his medical missions overseas. I want to know what it feels like to be the person who raises their hand and says, it's up to me to do this. That desire to know fed an idea that fueled a year-long mission. Visit one state each week and interview people changing their communities and then share their stories to inspire others. When people tell me I'm crazy, I tell them they're right. And you know what? It, it takes a little bit of crazy to make a difference. Nice. In San Francisco, she met software engineer and amateur musician Ed Hernandez. A lot of people have horns they have from college, high school. They don't play anymore, but they just haven't gotten rid of. You can find them. He saw yeah, school yeah, yeah. kids and missing a part of growing up, a chance to develop a love for music. It's interesting when you see a kid get something. You know, and they've been trying to figure something out. They're having trouble with the note, and and then it clicks. And it, you know, you can just see the light turn on in their head. And... One, two, ready, go! With donated instruments and volunteers that he helped organize, the hallways of Horace Mann Middle School now echo with the results. He created this music program for a school and has changed the course of, of a child's future. Yeah. All right. You were always your quarterback for high school? Is that what you said is? In America's heartland, she found Todd Vinson. Huh? Our mission for Willow Springs Boys Ranch is to take boys that are in a, in a crisis or or um, in a difficult family situation and give them the tools to make it in life. Todd Vinson saw that teenagers from dysfunctional families in his Oklahoma community needed help. He raised donations, took over a family ranch, and made a safe haven for them. We've had um, probably four boys graduate to date. We had two graduate last year, and we've got three that graduate this year, and all three of these young men will go to college. He didn't wait for government help. He did it himself and doesn't find that so unusual. You know, we've got a lot of people in this country doing a lot of good things. It doesn't always show up on the news. I believe very strongly that problems in your community are solved at home by you, by your neighbors, by the people in their communities. There have been about 350 different stories that Daphna has collected during her journey. Stories that she brings home each weekend to her dining room table in Denver to put on the web and share with the world. Hey, my name is Mara DeFilippis. She does that with help from her fiance, Michael Janae, who uploads each week's interviews to her website, 50in52journey.com. She quit her job and planned to fund her trips with donations, but they dried up in the recession. It's been a pleasure having you on board this afternoon. We hope you've enjoyed the ride. So she paid for the airfares and rental cars and hotels from cashing in her 401k. Is it perfect? Do I get to retire at 65? I can't imagine that at 65 I'm going to be much interested in retiring anyway. Divorced, she travels in the days when her kids are with her ex-husband. She searched the web, made calls, or got suggestions by email for people to interview in each state, looking for Americans with a just-do-it spirit that began in pioneer days. In, they understood, the pioneers, that in order to be successful, they not only had to plant their fields and build their farms, they also had to help their neighbor plant their fields and build their barns, and together they built the church and then the schoolhouse. That's how communities were built in this country. Neighbors working together, like the Harmons of rural West Virginia. Everyone really should do their part to try to make the world better. Tom Harmon is a doctor, Patsy a nurse midwife. They practice in West Virginia near where they grew up amid hard scrabble poverty. 
At their clinic, they treat the poor who can't pay a penny just as well as patients who can. It just seems like the right thing to do. <laughs> I, I think, you know, having been poor ourselves by choice because we lived in a rural area and on a commune, that uh, we have more sympathy than some people do for the poor. And we, I think we've always wanted to be of service to people. Then Tom spun a love for pottery into a way to raise money for their medical missions to Central America. They saw a need beyond what governments were doing. Not enough, <laughs> in our opinion. <laughs> and we enjoy it. It's a very gratifying thing to help other people. <laughs> I like that. I like it. I like it. In Phoenix, Anne Malone helped her community fight crime. You can see this, how this would give somebody a lot of privacy. It started when Ann discovered that a man with a history of assault, robbery, and drug use was camping behind her Phoenix home. He could see right into my backyard any, or climb over the wall anytime you wanted. And this gave you a sense of what? Terror. Terror. <laughs> yeah. Really? Police considered it too time-consuming dealing with misdemeanor crimes until Ann went door to door and got 18,000 homeowners behind her. I just wanted to say thank you again. Now shops are reopening, in part because crimes like trespassing, drinking in public, and aggressive panhandling have declined. This after police, under pressure from Ann, started enforcing misdemeanor violations and checking suspects' backgrounds to see if they were wanted. It's more work for you. Um, more work initially, but in the long run, less work. And it makes a difference in the neighborhood. Sure, sure does. Prior to becoming a community organizer, how would you have described yourself? Somebody's mom. Somebody's mom. Yeah. So, yeah. what's it like now to be someone who has done this and sees the results literally on the streets? It makes me so happy to know um, that what we've done together has worked. Michelson's next mission is organizing conferences where people who made it work in their town can share stories and strategies with those anxious to do the same where they live. What I've learned about this country is we really, really are great. We really have great people. We really are built from a fiber and a cord that says Whatever it is that has to be done, this is the place to do it, and we're going to do it. A collection of different people who share a single belief that change comes one determined person at a time.